Hello and welcome everyone to EEE 241. Uh, the course is named Electromagnetic Waves and Fields uh, and I am Imtiaz Ahmed, lecturer department of EEE, Brack University. And I will be the course instructor for you throughout this course. So first of all, this is an introductory video. So this video will just be containing the course contents that we will be covering throughout the whole course along with the textbooks we need to follow, etc, etc. So, without any further ado, let's just take a look at the contents that we'll be covering. So, in the table of contents, you are seeing four major parts that we'll be covering over here. First of all, we will be reviewing some vector quantities and formula that you have learned before used before and are familiar with and then we will go on to introduce some new coordinate systems to you for example you all know about cartesian systems but we will also be introducing cylindrical and spherical coordinate system that will come in handy in terms of a lot of calculations and stuff then we will be discussing a little about vector analysis uh, and introduce some new terms like gradient divergence and curl in depth because we will be needing those throughout the whole course and uh, things like line integral, surface integral and volume integral they are also very important parts of this course so we will have, have a look at it too. And then we'll move on to the first part of electromagnetics, that is electrostatics. Okay. Okay. First of all, let me let me explain briefly what electromagnetic wave is. Electromagnetic wave is basically a special kind of wave that requires no medium to uh, propagate, and that includes um, electric field uh, along with a magnetic field associated and perpendicular to it and both of those fields perpendicular to the direction of propagation and both of those fields will be um, oscillating so whenever we are trying to discuss about electromagnetic waves we'll have to discuss two parts that comprises it uh, uh, separately so the first part the electrostatics part there will uh, that will cover the electric field part of it. So electrostatics contains the properties of charge and how they exert forces on each other and stuff. And then we will move on to the steady electric current that is the electrodynamics part that will lay the foundation for magnetostatics. Then we will move on to magnetostatics and then we will just try to explore the magnetic potential, the bauer severed law. Um, and in both the electrostatics and magnetostatics, we will introduce two fundamental postulates each. Those two fundamental postulates from electrostatics and the two from magnetostatics, in total, we will have uh, we'll have four fundamental postulates that will combine into the wave equations and we will just begin with the fundamental postulates and uh, we will derive the Maxwell equations from it that will see us going through some modification into those postulates and then we will be combining those four and get to the wave equations and stuff. So that's more or less the contents that will be covered and as we go for, forward into the course the, these things will be more clearer to you so here are the two textbooks that we will generally follow uh, unless otherwise specified the first one will be the default book that i'll be following uh, it's called field and wave electromagnetics by david chen uh, the second edition is uh, recommended for you to follow and uh, it's not like that we will not be touching the second book anywhere into the course we will be picking uh, some topics from there as well and we will be conducting some uh, classes conducting some 
mathematical problem analysis from the, that book as well and we will be uh, mixing up contents from both of those books but by default i'm going with the first one so you will you are recommended to have access to both of those books and i will be uploading the pdf versions of those two uh in any medium that i'll find suitable and let you know uh, as soon as i can so that's more or less the contents and textbooks and the introductory video uh, and there's nothing more to talk about i guess so we'll be starting the course with uh introduction to vector quantities and see you over there so thank you